most beautiful so i started this story i don't quite know what i found that particular town so heartless perhaps because of its crowded claustrophobic atmosphere is congested and insanitary lens is very people one day i found the children of the bazaar tormenting a deformed retarded boy about a dozen boys between the age of 8 and 14 were jeering at the retarded the boy was 12 or 13 judging by his face but he had the height of an 8 or 9 years old his legs were thick short and broad he had a small chest but his arms were long making him rather ab like in his attitude he is for aid and chicks were pitted with the scares of small fox he was ugly by normal standard and the jebari he spoke did nothing to discourage his tormentors they threw mud and stone at him well keeping well out of his reach few can be more cruel than a gang of school boys in high spirits i was an an easy observer of this scene i felt that i ought to do something to put a stop to it but luck the courage to interfere it was only when a stone struck the boy on the face cutting open his cheek that i lost my normal description and ran in amidst the boys shouting at them and clattering those i could reach they scattered like defeated soldiers i took the frightened angry boy by the hand and asked him where he lived he mumbled something incoherent and pointed down in arrow land i led him away from the bazaar i said very little to the boy because it was of fears that he had some defect of speech when he stopped out side a door said in a high well i presumed that we had come to his house the door one opened by a young woman the boy immediately threw his arms around her and burst into tears i had not been prepared for the boy's mother not only did she look perfectly normal physically but she was striking handsome she thanked me for bewildering her son's home and asked me into the house the overt meeting but i asked for a glass of water she asked the boy to fetch it and he did so trusting the glass into my hands without looking me in the face suresh who's my only son i love him very much do you think he is very ugly ugly is just a word i say it like beauty they mean different things to different people the point kids has said beauty is true true beauty but if beauty and truth are same things then why have different words they are relative terms 
there are no absolutes except but and date the boy squatted down at her feet cradling his head in her lap with the end of her sari she began wafting his face have you tried teaching him to talk properly i asked he has been like this since childhood he the doctors can do nothing well you were talking the father came in and the boy fled away to the kitchen the man thought me coldly for bringing the boy home and him at once to dismiss the well mother from his mind i got the impression that he had long since resigned himself to having a different son and his early disappointment had changed to indifference when i got up to leave his work a ek mo pending me to the phone ro- door please do not mind if my husband is a little rude she said his business is not going to well if you like to come again please do suresh does not meet many people who treat him like a normal person after about a week i went to the house again so his father was away on a business trip and i stayed for lunch the boy's mother made some delicious parathas par- stuffed with ground radish and served it with pe- pickle and curd if so is it like an animal gobbling his food i was not far behind him he was morose and un communicative when he eat but when i suggest that he come with me for a walk he looked up eagerly the at the same time a look of fear passed across his mother's face will it be all right she asked you have seen hi other children treat him that day he slipped out of the house without telling anyone suresh made encouraging noise and thumped the table with his fists to show that he wanted to go finally his mother consented and the boy and i set off down the road he could not walk very fast because of his waxed leg but this gave me a chance to point out to him anything that i thought side at eyes his interest paris square squabbling in a banyan tree buffaloes wallowing in a muddy pond you reached the dry river bed on the outskirts of the town seeing trees in the distance suresh began to run towards them shouting and clapping his house and hand we found a small stream running through the forest i took off my cap and leaped into the cool water inviting suresh to join me he hesitated about taking of his crossed closed but after watching me for a while his eagerness to join me overcame his self conscious consciousness he waded clumsily towards me the water which came only to my knees reach up to his chest come i will teach you to swim i said and lifting him up from the waist i held him effort he 
flopped out and tossed around but stopped struggling when he found that he could stay afloat after that i went to the boy's house house about twi- twice a week and we nearly always visited the stream before long suresh was able to swim a short distance knowing how to swim this was something the bazaar boys never learned gave he may certain confidence his reason paint against the animal began to show when others started admiring it he suspected that the found it better looking than its owner on a two days later when i called at the house i found his mother looking very upset she told me high suresh in a sudden and uncontrollable rage had thrown a brick at the kid breaking its skull i will talk to him i said and joined out looking for him i found him near the stream lying flat on his belly in the soft mud chasing tap tap poles with a stick where did you kill the goat i asked he shrugged his shoulders hi very well i said he took a pen knife from his shirt pocket and held it out to me by the blade he pointed to his bare stomach and motioned me to thrust the blade into his belly you are a funny fellow i said taking the knife and throwing it into the stream come let's have a swim we swam all afternoon and suresh went home smiling after some weeks i received a letter offering me a job in delhi the boy's brother was disappointed when i told her that i was going away but the boy disapplied no feeling at all i told myself that he probably did not realize that he might never see me again i felt a little hurt on the evening my train was to leave i went to this house to gay to say goodbye suresh re- refused to sit near me or take my hand at 8 o'clock i and entered a third class compartment and succeeded in securing a seat near the window the guard had blown the whistle so when i saw suresh standing near the turnstile looking up and down the platform so as i shouted and he heard me and came hobbling and the platform i will be back next year i called the train began moving out of the station and as i waved to suresh he broke into a smile struggling run waving his arms in fronting restraining gestures i saw him struggling against someone's bedding